Yo, welcome back everybody to another Daikon Dissectional production hosted by Deathstroke9. Today we're going to be reacting to Jack Harlow, River Road. Okay. Um, first of all, this is a request from my mom. She says this guy is the best rapper to come out in a very long time. He's relatively new. He's been doing this since he was like 14, I think. Um, that's when he started trying to release music, and he's been do doing this like nonstop for quite some time. Um, I watched an interview with him not all that long ago. Actually, in the interview, he said that he, uh, over the pandemic and stuff, he's been listening to lots of music from the 70s and getting inspired by it. So I thought that was pretty cool. But um, yeah, I've only heard like one or two songs by him, and they're mostly like his hits. Um, you know, uh, they're not my favorite things I've ever heard in the, in the world, but I'm so excited to check this song out. My mom said it's really, really good. Um, again, though, the genre is rap. If anyone watching this doesn't enjoy that, consider just not watching. Um, and uh, yeah, link to the original video will be down below in the description. As I said, name of the song is River Road, and I'm, I'm actually pretty excited to check this out. She said that it's like... Um, the main thing that I didn't love about the first two s songs I've heard by him um, was just that, I don't know, the lyrics didn't seem all that, yeah, there were, there was like one or two lines that were deeper, I guess, but the majority of it sounded kind of, uh, I don't know, I guess shallow in a way, um, but she said this is one of his, like, much deeper songs, I've got the lyrics pulled up, and I'm ready to get into it, we've also got a music video, so here we go, three, two, one. Jack Harlow, River Road. Still working, still waking up looking for real purpose. Still trying to figure out what it's going to take. Still trying to find connection with some real surface level types. Back when I was young, I used to pedal bikes. Now I'm riding cross country doing several nights In and out the sprint event Pull up, get the levels right Get a bite to eat, do the show And then we settle like What could be a better life But I'm still staring at the ceiling in my bed at night Thinking about what I don't got yet Why I'm not hot yet Why the last project was something that I thought would make me something that I'm not yet It's all a work in progress That's what they tell me and I respond with I guess I've been wanting to get something off my chest But it's not time yet It might never be time Wow my kid won't get no screen time At least it's what I'd like to think Cause my childhood was filled with tree climbs And oatmeal cream pies And looking at the street signs I guess that he gon' be fine or she will I just feel like it's hard to be thrilled In times like this When our hands can't keep still And if it's not instant, then it's emails I like it so far Better than I thought it would be Like a lot better than I thought it would be lyrically so he's just like reminiscing about his childhood and also like looking and wondering, man, what's next? Man, okay, I can relate to that. Or at least rec here recently I can. That's interesting. Our hands can't keep still and if it's not Insta, then it's emails. It's beauty in the details, so I'ma try my best to pay attention to them. Spend your day with this and it can get you through it. I ain't seen an institute since I ended schooling. To hate it, now my dreams take place in it. Sunshine through the blinds till I wake in it. I just got done stretching like the eighth in it. Now it's time to get something for the day's finish. I got well wishes in my cell phone from my classmates to let themselves go. Well aware that I'm well known Know we had a stretch of time between us Said you felt close to me But it's been a minute since Did I change it? Did they rob me of my innocence? Inner city kids I grew up with We had some differences But inside gymnasiums It's almost like they didn't exist Time's ticking My mind's 50 Told me that she been thinking About spending time different It's more precious What if I took the same method At 21 and adopted it? Sometimes I feel like I'm tripping For dipping out of town With my pops living still Palms itching, but this money is not been a drip. Ain't no pattern to the way I tend to feel. It's all over the place. I'ma lower the shades and sleep in. I ran into a kid I grew up with. He shook my hand and told me no one thought you'd do this shit. 
I wow. can't relate, but see, I understand. Cause when they hear me now, compared to back then, it's like, who is this? Don't know if I changed, but the music did. In my old shit, I used to just admit things. Now I sit around and wonder, is that something you admit? Cause when I hear it, all I do is cringe. I guess I did change. Two years in ATL. Before I moved, I had never got drunk. Now I'm getting towed up like a ACL. Me and people that my friends idolize that they only ever get a chance to see on ATL. Artists that they playing through a JBL in somebody's basement, smoking, getting wasted. Last time I paused it. Also, really appreciate that there's like, there's not even a chorus on this, you know? He's just kind of putting all of his thoughts out there on this one. By far my favorite song I've heard by him so far. Let's keep going. Artists that they playing through a JBL in somebody's basement, smoking, getting wasted. Something in the air and I can taste it. 2018, I couldn't be on my own. Every night I call a girl and fall asleep on the phone. I guess it was how I cope with leaving from home. Discipline, I gotta keep it control. It gets more difficult to rap every day. Cause it's less and less things that feel like worth saying. Nothing is for sure except life shirt sure ends. I tried to keep that in mind, but it's not working. Wow. Okay. Interesting at the end. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Okay. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, very smooth, very uh, lo fi, it sounded like, to be honest. Um, I liked that. Let's see, what are the comments? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Some of the smoothest stuff I've heard in a while. Wish I could have heard a Mac and Jack collab. Hmm. There's a wait. What's his name? Are they is that a reference to Mac Miller? I don't know, but I know that he uh, passed away a while ago. Oh, that's why. Wish I could have. That's sad. All right. Vibe of this song is underrated and unmatched. Beautiful. All right. Last time I was this early, he wore glass. Jack wore glasses. Okay. Yeah. When he first started, he was very, very different my mom's played me some of his like way like beginning stuff um by far his best song lyrically yes yes thinking about what i don't have yet why i'm not hot yet why the last project was something that i thought would make me something that i'm not yet that's a good line wow all right uh let's Hmm. This is by far the most mature stuff that Jack Harlow has dropped. Soulful, tragic, honest, didn't expect this type of turn from this artist. Yes. Saxophone solo gets me every time. That was really nice. All right. Um, let's take a look at the entirety of the lyrics. River Road is one of Harlow's most impressive yet overlooked pieces. A four-minute song with no hook or repeating lyrics, only Jack reminiscing about his childhood and thinking about his future. Jack Harlow stated on Instagram that River Road was his favorite song he's ever made, and he said, I feel like when my grandkids hear it, they will be able to know exactly where my head was at. Still working. Still waking up looking for real... Yeah. See, that's why I like lyrics like this. Yep. Yeah, sometimes it just is like, man, there's no... It doesn't seem like there's any purpose to anything. <laughs> still trying to figure out what it's going to take. Still trying to find a connection with real surface level types. Back when I was young, I used to pedal bikes. Now I'm riding cross country doing several nights. All right, so when he, when he was growing up, he would use his bike to go from place to place. But with his newfound fame and success, he blew up not that long ago. And I'm guessing this is off his newest album. He is touring the country and going to different cities every night. In and out of the sprinter van, pull up, get the levels right. So the levels for the for the show and stuff. Sprinter vans are a common means for tour vehicles for lesser-known artists who can't afford tour buses. Okay. 
get a bite to eat, do the show, then we settle. Like, and it's like, what could be a better life? You know, we've got everything. But I'm still staring at the ceiling in my bed at night, thinking about what I don't have yet, why I'm not hot, what I don't got yet, why I'm not hot yet, why the last project was something that I thought would make me something that I'm not yet. It's all a work in progress. That's what they want to tell me, and I just respond with, I guess. You know, it's like these people are giving him all this advice, and he's just not, not feeling it. And he's like, I've been wanting to get something off my chest, but it's not time yet. That's interesting. That's an interesting line, actually. Hmm. Might, all right, I'm, especially when it comes to music like this, if, uh, like, I tr the last time I reacted to a song like this, I sat there read just reading the lyrics for quite some time when we just heard them, you know? So I'm going to try to go through them relatively, relatively quickly and then give you my ideas on what the whole song was and also kind of point out some lines that I really like. First off, we had that one, you know, I'm staring at the ceiling, thinking about what I don't have yet, you know? So it looks, from the outside, people look at this guy and they're like, oh, he's on top of the world, you know? And he's sitting there like, man, I still have such a long way to go, you know? Um, my kids, my kid won't get any screen time. At least that's what I'd like to think, because my childhood was filled with tree climbs and oatmeal cream pies and looking at the street signs. I guess he's going to be fine, or she will. It's like his, his uh, son or daughter would be all right. I just feel like it's hard to be thrilled in times like this when our hands can't keep still. If it's not Instagram, then it's emails. There's beauty in the details, so I'm going to try to my best to pay attention to them. Spend your day with this, and it can get you through it. I ain't seen an institute since I ended schooling. I used to hate it now. Now my dreams take place in it. Sunshine through the blinds till I wake in it. I just got done stretching. It's like the eighth inning, and now it's time to get something before the day is finished. Yes. He did not go to college to pursue a music career. Safe to say he made a correct investment in himself. There you go. Yeah. Um... The seventh inning stretch, baseball tradition that occurs between the halves of the inning when the fans generally stretch and get ready for the final of the game, or at very least the eighth inning. Yep. I feel like the, a lot of us are aware of that already, but let's continue. All right. Uh, I got well wishes in my cell phone. So now he's, like, thinking about some people that, like, used to be, like, kind of friends of his. You know, just kind of friends. And then, you know, they left his life. You know, they it's almost like they weren't there for him when he was trying to, you know, make it. And later he even says, I think, what did he say? He's like, someone walks up to me and is like, we never thought you'd be able to do this. Um, and, it's, uh, and it's like these people are now coming back to him like, oh, how are you doing? And he's like, I don't even know you. <laughs> So well wishes in my cell phone from my classmates that let themselves go, well aware that I'm well known. I know we had a stretch of time between us that you felt close to me, but it's been a minute since then. Did I change, or did they rob me of my innocence? Inner city kids I grew up with, we had some differences, but inside gymnasiums, it's almost like they didn't exist. Time is ticking. My mom is 50. Told me that she's been thinking about spending time differently. It's more precious. What if I took the same method at 21 and adopted it? So, she, so his mom's 50 years old. She's saying... Man, I've, I feel like I've not been paying too, enough attention to the important things in life. And he's seeing like an, almost an opportunity in that. He's like, it's pre time is precious. And what if I took that attitude and stopped, you know, uh, screwing around, same added method at 21 and adopted it? Sometimes I feel like I'm tripping for dipping out of town while my dad is still living. My palms are itching, but this money is not Benadryl, Okay. Benadryl is a common drug that's used to get rid of itching from allergies. In this instance, he's saying his palms are itching and money isn't healing that. So it's like I'm still restless and just making money is doing nothing for me. Um, in other words, he wants more. There's no pattern to the way that I feel. It's all over the place. I'm going to lower the shades and sleep in. I ran into a kid that I grew up with. He, told, he shook my hand and told me no one thought you'd do this this stuff i can't relate i love that too that was one of my favorite lines of the whole thing where he's like no one thought you'd do this and he's like yeah no i i knew i'd do it 
that's something that he said in the interview that I watched with him. He's like, they're like, uh, were you surprised? And he's like, you know, thinking positively about yourself is important. And then he's like, I always knew I was going to do this. It's crazy, you know? Anyway, all right, Jack has been rapping since he was in middle school. He would hand out mixtapes in his school for free to whoever would take them. He was well known in his class for being a rapper, but not one that many people listened to. Jack is saying here that he understands why people did not rock with him for his music in high school. Because when they hear me now compared to back then, it's like, who is this? I don't know if I changed, but the music did. His voice changed, too. He changed his voice a lot. Um, like, if you were, if anyone cares to check it out, uh, or if you want, leave a comment down below. Let me know any other songs by this guy you'd like me to check out. You know, if anyone watching this found this video because you're a fan of Jack Harlow, um, loved this song. If there's any other songs like this, let me know. Um, and I wouldn't mind reacting to this popular stuff, too. It's just a lot of it, like I said right at the beginning of this video, was a little bit, you know, surface level. Um, but then there would be, like, lines in there that would make it, take it a little bit deeper. Let's continue. All right. Uh, in my old stuff, I just used to admit things. Now I sit around and wonder, is that even something that you admit? Because when I hear it, all I do is cringe. I guess I did change. Two years in Atlanta. Before I moved, I had never got drunk. Now I'm getting torn up like an ACL, meeting people that my friends idolize, that they only get, they only ever get a chance to see on my timeline. Artists that they are playing through JBL. That's hilarious popular headphone speaker company that's used to play music at parties or gatherings that's crazy man he's like <laughs> he's kind of roasting his old friends you know it's like what did he say earlier they let themselves go and then here he's like uh you're only gonna get to see people that you idolize through my timeline because i'm taking pictures with them and artists that they are playing through a jbl in somebody's basement smoking and getting wasted there's something in the air and i can taste it 2018, I couldn't be on my own. Every night, I'd call a girl and fall asleep on the phone. I guess it was how I coped with leaving from home. Discipline. I've got to keep in control. It's getting more difficult to rap every day because less and less things feel like they're worth saying. Nothing is for sure except life sure ends. I try to keep that in mind, but it's not working. Kind of ends on a depressing note. But, um, yeah, that's Jack Harlow, River Road. I enjoyed the song. Uh, more than I thought I would. Thank you for joining me. I will see you guys soon. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Thank you, Mom, for requesting this song. Um, yeah. See you guys soon. Deathstroke 9, out. We are Legion, my friend.